A computer is a smart machine that performs various tasks. It consists of different parts that work together. This is why a computer is called a computer system. A computer system works with the help of two basic parts, hardware and software. Hardware parts that we can see and touch. Software is a set of instructions. Hardware The physical parts of a computer that we can see and touch are called hardware. All the electronic, electrical and mechanical parts form the hardware. The main hardware part of a computer is the processor. It is found inside a box called CPU, hard disk, motherboard and memory are some other hardware parts present inside the CPU. They are not visible to us. We can see some hardware parts like monitor, CPU, mouse and keyboard. Keyboard Keyboard is the commonly used hardware component of a computer. It is an input device used to enter data into a computer. A keyboard has a number of keys arranged in rows or blocks. We type data in the form of text, numbers or symbols by pressing these keys. The keyboard comprises of the following types of keys. Alphanumeric keys, special keys, modifier keys, navigation keys, function, function keys. Alphanumeric keys. We use alphanumeric keys to type letters and numbers. A keyboard has 26 alphabet keys arranged in a jumbled manner. There are 10 number keys from 0 to 9. The number keys are grouped together in a block on numeric keyboard which helps to enter the numbers quickly. The leftmost alphabet keys in a in a keyboard are Q, W, E, R, T and Y. Therefore, such a keyboard is called QWERTY keyboard. Special keys. Specific tasks are performed using special keys. Some of them are described below. Backspace key. It erases the text before the cursor. It also erases the text selected by us. Delete key. It erases text after the cursor and removes the selected text or item on the screen. Enter key. It is used to type text from a new line. The cursor moves till the end of the line as we go on typing. It then automatically moves to the next line. We press the enter key to move to the next line before reaching the end of the current line. Enter key is also called the return key. A keyboard has two enter keys. The enter key is also pressed to complete a command. Space bar key. It is used to move the cursor ahead by one space. This gives space between two letters, numbers or words. It is the longest key on the keyboard. Shift key. It is used in combination with other keys to perform different functions. For example, it is pressed with a letter key to type the letter in upper case. It is also pressed with number keys to type the symbols made on them. Caps lock key. It is used to type capital letters on pressing the caps lock key once a light closes on the top right corner of the keyboard. It shows that the caps lock function is on. Pressing the caps lock key once more switches it off. Control key. A, a keyboard has two control keys. They perform special operations on being pressed with other keys. Symbol keys. We use symbol keys to add punctuation marks and other symbols while typing. Modifier keys. The functions of other keys can be modified using modifier keys. They are used in combination with the other keys to change their output. For example, 
on pressing the shift key with number key one we get the exclamation mark as an output navigation keys navigation keys are used to move the cursor around in a document to see or edit text page up page down home end and arrow keys are different navigation keys there are four arrow keys used to move the cursor in different directions on the screen they are also called cursor control keys function keys there are 12 function keys from f1 to f12 each function key performs a special task mouse mouse is an input device which helps us to perform different tasks on a computer it is used to point at or select an object on a computer screen it usually has two buttons left button and right button pressing and releasing the left mouse button is called click single click is pressing the left button once when we press it twice quick twice quickly it is called double click monitor a monitor is an output device that has a screen it displays the work we do on a computer like typing words and numbers and making pictures tables graphs and charts we also watch movies or cartoons on a monitor monitors are of three types cathode ray tube monitor it is big in size very heavy and occupies lots of space this monitor is rarely in use now liquid crystal display monitor it is not very big in size not very heavy and occupies less space the pictures on it are clearer than on crt monitor light emitting diode monitor it is not big in size not very heavy and occupies less space the pictures on it are clearer than on lcd monitor and crt monitor central processing unit the central processing unit is the main part of a computer it is the brain of a computer it performs all the processing work of a computer it is also called the system unit parts inside the cpu some hardware parts of a computer are inside the cpu motherboard all other parts of the cpu are connected to the motherboard switched mode power supply it supplies power to a computer hard disk drive it stores data permanently inside a computer random access memory it stores data temporarily inside a computer processor it is actual processing device of a computer following are the main parts of a processor arithmetic logic unit alu carries out all the mathematical and logical operations control unit cu controls the transfer of information from one part of the processor to the other memory unit mu stores data in a computer printer a printer is an output device used to take printouts of the work done on paper modem a modem connects one computer to the other computers through the internet it exchanges information over telephone lines compact disk read only memory cd rom is a storage device on a computer it stores a large amount of information outside a computer pen drive is a common storage device of a computer software software is a set of instructions that performs a specific task on a computer system some wi widely used software are windows 10 and ms word system software and application software are two kinds of software system software system software is the main software program which makes a computer run and performs all its essential tasks it basically allows the hardware parts of a computer to work together a computer cannot operate as a single unit without a system software operating system is the most essential system software windows 7 windows 8 and windows 10 are the popular operating systems application software 
we use an application software to perform specific tasks or applications. Some common application software are described below. Word processing software. It is used to type, edit and format text documents. We can type poems, stories and many other things using this software. Microsoft Word and Apple Works are some examples. Word processing software is the most commonly used application software. Spreadsheet software. It is used to enter data in tables. A table consists of rows and columns. Microsoft Excel is a popular spreadsheet software. We can also do calculations in MS Excel. Database software. It is a computer program used to store and manage information or data. Microsoft Access and Oracle are some examples. Multimedia software. It helps in integrating multiple media forms like text, graphics, audio, video and animals, animations. Real player and Windows media player are some examples. Application software also includes programs like MS Paint, MS PowerPoint, Corel Draw and Adobe Photoshop.